Yo, what is up guys? Blake here bringing you some max death PvP and in today's video We're using a new setup that I showed you guys in the gear setup video I posted the other day So I'm not gonna go over the stats too much If you want to see the best setups for every school uh, at max level you can check out the link in the description I worked really hard on the video. There's timestamps So it should be very very helpful for those of you that want to know basically what to run uh, But these stats are overall really really solid and this is the deck that I used um, Still need to make some tweaks to it But basically the gist of the strat is you try to go for bubble control if possible you don't need to force it though and then you want to get up dark packs and blades and then end up going for a poison into a shad so it's sort of a, a kind of generic uh overtime shad strat but you do have some cool utility cards like v plague bubbles and stuff like that to kind of you know make things a little bit different and then this is the side in foul does actually come in clutch sometimes uh in certain matchups and it's pretty decent the weaknesses are going to stack with the v plagues poisons are obviously pretty standard and then some extra blades if you can have bubble control and you want to stack a little bit more so yeah uh it's pretty fun i think this setup is decent for death i don't think it makes death very good uh but it is a decent setup and if you know how to play it right you can do pretty well with it so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you guys in the next one as always peace out guys uh looks like a balance no i can't really tell dude he's got a balance hat but his health is pretty low even for turquoise uh hello my friend what are you doing this guy has to be a balance right like, this guy actually has to be a bounce. Okay, he's tower shielding right away. Uh, sort of a weird move. I wish I had a death blade right now, but I don't, unfortunately. So, I mean, I could initiate the bubble warp, but I don't really want to do that either. I think I'll just V-plague him, dude. I want to keep my pips low while I draw for blades and stuff. I'll just V-plague. Like, why not, dude? Okay, I'm pulling, like, all my dark packs known to man. We can definitely discard one. Uh, let's see what he does here. He's just going to want it. Yeah, smart move. I'll just V-plague again, though. Like, if he keeps... He's only got a finite amount of one hits. So if we can get rid of his one hits with the V plague, then eventually, like when I tower shield, he's gonna be forced to hit into it. So I don't mind literally just V playing again. I don't want to initiate the bubble war against the balance. No way, dude. Unless I have a ton of bubbles in my hand, I'll just V play again though. Or like I really don't have a better move. You know what I mean? Okay, we pulled an Aegis, which I can't do anything with. Uh, I might need to stun block actually because he might pack and choke. So I'll hold on to it. He's gonna weakness me. Nice, bro. Nice. Because now I can just Dark Pact, which is kind of what I wanted to do all along. He still has a V-Plague, though, so I'll let him mana burn me if he wants to. So I'm going to stun block now before I V-Plague. Because if he wants to burn me at 7 pips, I'm cool with that with the V-Plague on. Like, we'll, we'll kind of bait it, you know what I mean? So we'll just do this. If he burns me, though, then I don't have the new pip. Actually, yeah, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Let's just discard that. Okay, he's doing some weird stuff. What is this, another Tower Shield? All right, bro. Oh, no, he's stun blocking. Okay. I could also just poison right now. Just keep my pips low. Like, why not just poison? No, 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 no. Let's not do that. Let's go for the uh, 35. Yeah, let's go for the big, the big beefies. So we're going to get rid of the uh, the 25, or sorry, the 30 debuff. And we're going to get two 35 blades, which honestly isn't too bad. The thing is, though, he can kind of just keep debuffing me. So I think balance is a hard matchup for death, bro. Hard matchup, bro. Okay, we put our sound. I have another one in my deck, though. Let's see what he does here. Let's see, like, spirit shields. What would I do here? He's gonna bubble. Very interesting. All right, we can respond to that though. We can totally respond to that. So I'm I'm a okay. Let's discard the scion um and keep everything else. Yeah, and let's just bubble. Okay, this is good. Let's take that damage away from him. I think he's trying to draw wanted based off the way he's playing, dude. I think he's trying to draw wanted to take off the V play. But we'll we'll reply to the bubble. That's cool. I can afford that. Ah, uh, yikes, bro. I already discarded a wing, so that's my last winged, right? So I don't really want to discard this, but I sort of have to. Let's see what he does here. What is this, mana burn anyway? Uh, he's going to mana burn me anyway. Okay, that is totally that is totally fine with me, bro. I'm just going to blade now because I, I want to uh, stack up my buffs right now. So now I just literally blade. Don't worry about doing anything else. Just blade here. If he burns me again, no problem, dude. No problem. So we are triple buffed now, which is very nice, right? Um... Okay, I didn't pull my last. I have to hold on. Oh, my God. Okay, it's a balance. I'm going to say no Scion. It's a balance, dude. Let's see if he changes the bubble here. If he does, that's kind of going to suck. Because I don't think I have a bubble in my hand, right? I don't think I have a bubble in my hand, dude. Let's see, though. If I don't have a bubble in my hand, I may just have to poison him right now. Would I rather eat the damage? Like, eat a 9-pip mana burn? Dude, this is rough, bro. We got the tower shield. Sure, I'll tower first. We'll tower first. See what he does to this. You know what I mean? If he one hits, he's wasting a wand that he can't take off with something else. So I'll tower here. That's fine, bro. Pulled the snack attack. That might actually be nice, dude. Like, let's say he does weakness me. You know? 
What is this? Iron Curse? I'm fine with an Iron Curse. Yeah, he's gonna Iron Curse me, okay. So maybe I want to poison here. I don't think I need the, the, the thingy, bro. I'm gonna discard it. He's playing this really uh, interesting. I wish I had a bubble, bro, or a V-Plague. If I had either one of those, I'd be straight vibing right now. But unfortunately, I literally don't have either. So, like, I kind of have to just poison him now. I don't have much of a choice. So, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to send the poison. Uh, just to kind of reduce uh, the risk of mana burn. That's kind of the main thing. We do get some damage value out of this as well, right? 235 blades and it's main deck enchanted. So, this should do, like, 400 to tick, right? Which is, you know, decent. It's not great, but it's decent. That did 150 through the shield. Not bad, bro. Not bad. Okay, we finally put an enchant in a bubble. Very nice. Okay, good stuff. Let's see what he does. Let's say he mana burns me right now. Would I blade or would I bubble? Honestly, I'd probably blade. If he burns me right now, let's see. Yeah, 500 attack. Good damage, bro. That's actually very good. Let's see what he does here. He is going to tower shield, it looks like. Oh, that is so good, dude. Now, the thing is, if I change the bubble and then he gazes, that kind of sucks, right? That kind of sucks. But I sort of have to just accept that. So I'm going to change the bubble here. That's just realistically my best move. We're taking away Pip so we can't mana burn as effectively. And we're taking the damage away from him. So I sort of have to do this. Let's say he does gaze me. I can still take an open 35 buffed winged, right? So that wouldn't be the end of the world. If he does gaze me right now, I'll just take my winged, right? Yeah, I'll just take my winged. Dump my pips, reset a bit, get rid of the shad. And then basically just blade a bunch of times until I can get ready to do some more work. You know what I mean? So yeah. Gaze here is probably his best move. Mana burn would be alright too. Because then I'd be at 4 pips. I'm not really a threat to him. I'd have to just blade and then he can just shield again. So let's see what he does here. I'm very curious. He is going to burn, I think. I don't think he's going to gaze. He took a while to think of that. He's going to weakness me. Oh, I'm taking the winged, bro. I'm taking the winged. It's double buffed. I'm not going to get a better open look than this, right? I kind of... Yeah, and it debuffs me. as. I mean, it dumps my pips as well. Yeah, I'm going to take the winged. This wing's going to do like probably 2200, but yeah, like I said, we're about to get another shad, so we're dumping one of our shads. Uh, we're dumping our pips, and again, this is the best shot I'm going to get probably the entire game um, outside of strike. So I'm going to take it now. That's fine. This still does, like I said, probably like 2200. Yep, 2200 on the dot, bro. Put a debuff on him as well. Dumped our pips. Good value. Very good value for us. Got some more dark packs. Yeah, okay. So we've got him down to about 5,700. We do a bubble control. So we're in a decent spot here. Could be better, but, you know, it also could be worse. I think one dark pack is probably going to be fine. I don't think I need two. Yeah? Yeah, one dark pack should be fine. Let's discard. I just want to get some blades up now while my pips are low. Try to dig for bubbles and V-plagues and all that stuff. He's going to change the bubble here. What is this? Is he healing? Oh, no, he's set shooting. Okay, I'm going to end up poisoning, so that's fine. I don't really care about a shield. Uh, I'm literally just gonna blade here. There's no reason for me to shield because he's probably gonna want to gaze me anyway uh, Which is fine. So I'm literally just gonna blade while my pips are low try to dig for bubble try to dig for V plague stuff like that, dude Stuff like that. I need to keep everything in my hand at this point. I can't really afford to discard. So let's see what he does here Let's see if he burns me. I hope he does because I don't have yeah He does burn me bad move barely does any damage and like I, he's not a threat to me at all not a threat at all. I'm going to discard the V-Plagues because I need to keep my pips. I can dump pips for damage, but I can't dump pips for V-Plaguing. I'd rather just weakness him at that point because my pips are starting to get low. So I'll just go for the Death Blades here. We'll discard our V-Plagues. I think that's my best shot here. Put an Aegis, sure, I guess. Probably a bubble, right? Yeah, okay. So he's going to bubble here. I don't want a Dark Pact unless I know I can afford it or he weaknesses me. If he weaknesses me, then I can Dark Pact. But, like, otherwise, I don't really have any intention of doing that right now. Uh, let's enchant the Winged. Discard a Shrike. We got a Death Blade. Um, I want to draw for Death Bubble. So, yeah, I'll go for a Death Blade here. Uh, I really want to draw my Bubble right now. So, we'll just do this. He's not really that much of a threat to me anyway. Look, let's say he takes a Mockenspiel. I'll eat it, bro. I'll eat the Mockenspiel for breakfast. Got another V-Plague. Again, I don't really want to waste that. So let's see what he does here. My guess is he takes the Spiel. He's got a 25 buff. He's going to take it. Yeah. So this should do with my resist. He's probably got Turquoise Rope. If he crits like 2600. Anywhere from 22 to 29. Depending on low high end. Something like that. Yeah, 2500. So I probably did mid. Yeah, I probably did mid. That's my guess. So we still have 5k health. Which is very good for us. I'm literally just going to Blade again this turn. That way we have three buffs. So that way if I were to strike or something, I can poison. You know what I mean? Like, I, I, I want to have three of the same blade. But we're in a very good spot here. Still haven't pulled bubble, unfortunately. But that's fine. Oh, we finally pulled a bubble. Gas. I shouldn't even be drawing from side deck. There's no need to right now. Now I just want to buy time to get pips and buy time to get shad. That's the main thing. So it looks like he's going to weakness me here. Which honestly is not a good idea. Yeah, I'll literally just dark pack that off. 
Is it worth to change the bubble? Yes, it is. So we'll change the bubble right now. Maycast and Feeble. Can you imagine, bro? Can you imagine he gets a Maycast and Feeble? That would really suck. Pull to main deck poison. I honestly... Okay, I'm not going to need any more main deck blades, right? We have three up. Yeah, it's going to be enough for the rest of the game. So we're kind of okay here. I just need to get a dark packed up. Let's say he changes the bubble here. I go for the dark packed, right? There's no point towering yet. So if he changes the bubble, I dark packed. He will burn me, which will hurt, but I'm okay with that. What is this? Is he going to weakness me again? I'll still dark packed. He's going to burn me. Yeah, bad move. He gives me a new pip too. Oh my God. This is so good for me. I, I think we got this in the bag, but I also thought we had the other game in the bag and that obviously did not happen. So I definitely want a dark pack now because I'm going to want a tower shield next turn. So doing this gets rid of the debuff, gets me blades, and we get rid of our new pip while not wasting any shields. He's not a threat to me right now. So now is where you kind of just shield every turn for the rest of the game. That's basically my game plan. Shield every turn, keep bubble if I need to, but otherwise just play very defensively until I have um, enough pips to combo. So I'm going to need 7 plus 6. I'm going to need like 11 pips, bro. I'm going to need 11 pips before I can really start to combo him. Because if I poison and he mana burns me, I'm going to need to have enough to winged. Let's see what he does here. He's going to empower, which is a good move. It's definitely his best move here. I'm just going to tower shield. He'll probably iron curse me and then I'll like weakness or something like that. He might try to gaze as well. But yeah, I'm just going to tower shield here. Basically keep my hand as it is. Um, yeah, keep my hand as it is and just go for the tower here. My guess is he curses me here. Which again, I'll just weakness that off. Uh, we'll put a weakness. But yeah, he's going to curse me right now because I put up the tower shield. Then we can just weakness him. I definitely do not need the main deck blade. Let's discard. Yeah, we're in a good spot, though. We're in a very good spot. I just don't want to hit him unless his pips are low and he can't burn me. Like, I can be a human sponge for a little bit longer. And I don't want to force the strike either. Because I have so much damage buffs right now, I really don't need to force it. So I just got to be careful here. Let's see. He's going to curse me, I think, right? Here comes the Iron Curse. Yep, there goes the Iron Curse. So now I weakness him. Now I weakness him. Because obviously shielding while he's got an overtime is not a good idea. So if I weakness him, we are debuffing him. If he takes an open... um an open mana burn, then I can strike safely. Because I know I'll have enough pips to be able to strike poison uh, into the combo. So yeah, right now I just really want a weakness. We'll discard that as well. And I want to keep drawing from side. Yeah, so just go for a weakness here. Just do this. He's still not a threat to me. He's at 5 pips. I stole bubble control. We're going to put a weakness on him. So we're in a good spot right now. There you go. So now if, even if he tries to mana burn me, he, it's debuffed, which is good. Um... This late in the game, I'm not even sure if it's worth it to change the bubble. But let's discard a tower. There we go. I wanted a weakness. Because let's say he wand hits here. Would I poison? Yeah, I'd poison actually instead of wand hitting. So if he wand hits, I poison. Um, if he changes the bubble, I'll change the bubble, sure. Let's say he weaknesses me here. He's going to mana burn me anyway. Bad move, bro. Bad move. Because now I can strike poison winged. And I have the pips to do that, right? And there's literally nothing he can do about it. He could force a tie. I don't want him to force a tie, bro. I really don't want him to force a tie, bro. But like, okay, I'm going to strike anyway. If he forces a tie, dude, whatever, man. What, you know what I mean? What am I going to do about it? I'm going to strike here. If he goes for the tie, dude, that's kind of scummy. So we'll just strike right now because I can literally strike poison winged and that kills. So now I strike to get that extra damage. I will get the shad because we stalled long enough as well. Uh, discard the B plague. I need to pull. There we go. Got the death blade. Perfect. So even if he tries to dispel me, we've got that. He also would have to death dispel me at two pips. And I have enough pips to poison into the shad. So we're big chilling. I think we got this in the bag, bro. That's a main deck poison too. So it's going to do a ton of damage. And then he's dead to the, uh, to the winged. I could even go for a scarecrow if I really wanted to heal. He's going to tower shield. Yeah, that's not really a good move. He should have weaknessed or done, got another shield. But yeah, now we poison him, which is obviously a great move here. Even if he dispels me, then he can't do anything to kill me. So yeah, we, we got the dub, bro. I don't think there's any way I can lose this. Yeah, exactly, Sean. I can also Scarecrow if I need to. But we're going to take the quad buffed Shad. This is, I mean, uh, the quad buffed main deck poison. So this should do a lot of damage. It should do like a thousand a tick, bro. And then he's literally dead to a Scarecrow or a Winged. So even if he dispels me, I can just, uh, like, let's say he dispels me. I wouldn't even take enough backlash anyway. But let's say he dispelled me. I got a brace. He popped me and somehow I would die. I can still Scarecrow. So, yeah, this game's in the bag, dude. If he triages here, I can literally just winged him anyway. And that kills. Because I'm still triple buffed, right? I've got the... Yeah, it's doing 1100. So, even if he yages right now, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. He's dead to the shed. Yeah, he's going to set shield. Okay. So, I need to make it... Oh, no. Don't be a brace, bro. Don't be a brace, man. Okay, you got the punishment. I need to think here. What is the better move? Better move is to winged. Because a winged will kill him. Scarecrow, I might heal back, but like, 
This just straight up kills him, right? Like, this does the damage? I think winged is my better move, yeah. Winged kills, I'm pretty sure. I'm triple buffed with a Pierce Blade. Even with the set shield, wing does more than the Scarecrow. So even though I would heal back, this is just a smarter move, you know what I mean? Because this will kill him, which doesn't even give him a chance to tie the game. Because uh, that, that's going to do at least 3,000 with all the buffs that I have. And then we also have the Poison doing 1,100. So yeah, that was the right call. Yep, that was 100% the right call. Because now he doesn't even have a chance to force the Backlash. If I had Scarecrow, it would have done less. He could have tanked, Mockage Field, and then still forced the tie. Which would have been kind of disgusting, you know? So we got the dub, bro. That's a good game. That's a really good game, I think. So GG, my friend. I think that's just, we did a really good job. We knew when to dump our pips, when not to. I also didn't spam B Plague too much. I did it early in the game, which was okay, but not later on when I needed to get my buffs. So that was just really good overall.